Hey guys, Gore here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the patch notes for the new version 2.7 patch that was dropped yesterday and spending some time talking about the dead dead mechanic that has made its way back into squad. If you enjoyed today's video, leave it a like and subscribe for more future squad content. I also stream squad over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So if you're looking to get some questions answered or just want to catch some live gameplay, drop by sometime. Now let's get into things. For starters, we're going to brush through some of the bug fixes that came with this patch, as there's been some game breaking ones that have been plaguing the community for some time now. To everyone's elation, this patch includes a fix for the infamous Logi bug, where players would be unable to see build or ammo supply or both. This bug has been a nightmare for both the development team and the player base, so seeing it hopefully being a thing of the past is great to see. Additionally, we see fixes for both the missing turret bug, where vehicles like a striker would not have their 50 cal on top for some players, and if you entered the gunner seat, you would immediately die, and a fix for the bug where players getting stuck at spawn screen when entering a vehicle, specifically APCs, and would have to leave the game and come back to fix it. Now, getting into the meat and potatoes of this new patch, we have the dead dead mechanic making its way back into squad. This feature was removed in Alpha 13, and now, to much of the community's delight, it has made its return. Simply put, Dead Dead is a mechanic that after being revived, you're in a recovery state. And if you go down again while in this state, you'll be sent back to the spawn screen. There are two ways to leave this recovery state. Wait 60 seconds if no medic is available to heal you or receive healing from a medic. The recovery state timer will be shortened based off the percentage of health and it'll be completely gone once you're fully healed. While you're in the recovery state, you'll have a skull icon in the bottom right of your screen and you'll be met with a full screen desaturation and blur effect. This screen effect will severely hinder your ability to be combat effective, so re-engaging targets during this time will be extremely difficult. With the details of this mechanic out of the way, let's take some time to talk about how this is going to affect gameplay and squad. First thing is the importance being put back on maximizing the amount of medics you have in your squad and on your team. Previously, I'd see many full 9-man squads only rocking one medic, as many times players do not want to use the second medic kit with the lesser optic or no optic. Now, I think we're going to see a lot more squads, full or not, utilizing both medic kits so that they can get players out of the recovery state as quickly as possible. As far as the overall speed and pacing of games, there's definitely going to be a decrease. Especially with the screen effect, players are going to be more likely to wait for the state to pass or fall back to a medic if one wasn't nearby instead of popping their head back up to try to engage the target that downed them in the first place. Not that this is the end-all, be-all fix to the revive train you've likely seen or experienced, but it's a fantastic step in the right direction. Players still may end up being revived time and time again, but the dangers they are now met with may lead to a change in mindset. Where instead of staying on the path that just led to your downfall, maybe more players will look for alternative or flanking routes to get to their objective. Medics will now have some control over engagements, as players are now counting on them to leave the recovery state. Instead of a player being downed while looking out a window and immediately re-peaking the same window after revive, medics can use the recovery state to urge players to fall back to a better position where they won't be immediately shot by the same enemy. Indirect fire also receives a buff with this mechanic, as many times when using mortars, most of the infantry that you're able to incapacitate is revived and moves on. Now, accurate IDF on infantry targets has the potential to wipe out full squads if rounds are dropping on players that are still in the recovery state. As a side effect of the dead dead mechanic, suppressing enemies will now become more influential than ever before. There haven't been any changes to how suppression works, but with players being more self-conscious of not wanting to be sent back to the spawn screen, they're less likely to try engaging an enemy that is putting accurate rounds downrange. All in all, I couldn't be happier that dead dead has made its way back into squad. Putting a larger emphasis on T-play mechanics is what most of us have been asking for, so we can try to break away from the game slipping too far into the realm of arcade. Rounding out the video, I want to highlight some of the other changes that came in this patch that I thought were notable. First, we have the RAS lane's randomization logic being updated. This will supposedly improve the random factor on RAS layers to make them less predictable. For a lot of layers currently, RAS is far too predictable, so I'm hoping this is the first step towards making the next objectives feel less foreseeable. Next, we have the open top vehicles being able to use their A and D keys to rotate the turret like their closed top counterparts. This is a great quality of life update, so those that find themselves in these VIX aren't having to swipe their mouse every which way to traverse their weapon. The G3 has received an update to its firing sound, making it beefier than the previous. 
I really like this update because on top of not really enjoying the G3 platform and squad, the 308 caliber weapon always sounded far too snappy with not enough deeper tones to the firing. Next, we have an update to vehicle hulls, turrets, wrecks, and emplacements with a new armor mesh component, which will allow for much more dynamic armor penetration calculations. As someone who plays the whole spectrum of armored vehicles in squad, this excites me quite a bit with the framework being set for possibly more intuitive armor gameplay coming in the future, where shot placement has a larger emphasis than current play. That about wraps up the larger changes that came in the 2.7 patch. I'll leave a link in the description of the full patch notes if you'd like to check them out yourself. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you're excited as I am about the direction squad is going with the reintroduction of Dead Dead back into the game. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the new recovery state and how it will affect the game. Don't forget to leave the video a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more future squad content. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'm out.